So after using both Chrome OS Flex and Prime OS for an extensive period of time, let's see how they compare against each other. So and also stick to the end of the video to see the main highlight of the Prime OS and also the correct way to install it. So I'm using the mainline version which is running on Android 7 Nougat. So in the Prime OS settings we have option for root so if you have any application that requires root then you can take full advantage of Prime OS. There was no issue regarding Wi-Fi or internet but there's an issue with the uh, sleep mode for me at least so I'll keep it at 30 minutes as it goes into deep sleep and uh, we get you can see it's using the full storage that is uh, entire drive so see at the end of the video how to install it in your primary storage and also on ram usage it's quite low so it's quite lightweight so this is the quick toggles we have option for the volume and brightness and this is the chrome browser and it works quite well so but it is not as advanced as the chrome os flex where we have option for extensions so in that regard it's quite back and also do not update it as it crashes after update so in this regard chrome os flex is far better but thanks to the android support we can install applications like wps office and we can create presentations documents and we have the whole play store at our disposal so and, but due to the older version there can be some compatibility issues but regardless of that that is a quite an advantage over chrome os flex we can also use instagram in the portrait mode and watch reels and stuff so this is quite fun to do so definitely a bonus Now coming to the main highlight of the Prime OS which is gaming. So we have a separate Prime OS gaming uh, hub or something. So you can see our CPU usage, RAM usage, storage usage and we can also choose profile for gaming so at performance and conservative but I don't know if it actually works or not. So I installed a game Free Fire which is quite popular and you can see the on screen buttons that have appeared. So these are virtual keys you can map them so first we'll go to the settings then we'll go to controls and custom and i will use it as a guide to create our key map so press f10 on your keyboard and then turn on and now one by one you can drag and drop the various keys and place them wherever you see it on the screen So I can see I've placed it on the use and I've pressed F. So whenever I press the F it will pick up the items and then heal. And uh, you can use the control plus L to uh, trigger the fire mode. I will show you in uh, later. Um, but this is how you do it and then you can just press F10 again to save it. Now you can see all the positions, positions are set. So now I am in the training. And uh, you can see I've pressed Ctrl plus L and I can zoom and move around. I'm using the keyboards and not the mouse. Then press Ctrl L again to use the like the mouse again. So you can switch between them saying Ctrl plus L. So now I've selected a sniper and I can aim using my right uh, my right mouse. And it makes it really like uh, a different experience playing it on your uh, uh, PC and the thing is it's not an emulator so the performance is much better even my laptop which is quite old is working quite well and also recording the screen also make sure you change the sensitivity as uh, it may affect your gameplay so do alter it according to your need and not all the modern titles will work like Call of Duty as it is quite an old but you can try it maybe it depends on the, your system and I've also used it on the subway surfer so I'm using it to play with my keyboard not the mouse you can also play this game with your mouse but uh, it's quite uh, better with keyboard so gaming is definitely a plus point on Prime OS and it works quite well even on a low-end PC now coming to installation, 
after making the boot belt dry for the prime os we will select the grub version and uh, here we need to select advanced option and not the installation because we are installing it in the entire drive so now select the auto install to specified hard disk and uh, here we will just select our hard disk or your whatever main storage is and you can see it says uh, it says that it will delete the entire drive so it will do it for us so everything will be deleted and prime os will be your primary operating system you can also dual boot and stuff you can check out other videos in the playlist but this is how you do it and uh, it's going to replace everything and work as the, as the primary operating system and if you select reboot you will only see the prime os and not any other os so now you have booted into the prime os as your primary operating system so that was it for this video i hope you like this and i'll see you in the next one